Good morning everyone. Oh, I just turn <laughs> the radio off. Uh, one sec. There we go. <clears throat> just listening to Capital. That's like become my morning thing. Often when I'm getting ready in the morning and have my breakfast, I often put Capital F on, FM on now. It is Saturday morning today. As you can tell, I'm kind of sweaty. I have just been out for a run, recently got back in and it's actually turning into nice. I've just closed the curtain actually because I was about to jump in the shower. But it was saying showers this morning, it was really grey and cloudy, but as I was out for my run it started to brighten up and now it's started to go really nice and blue sky and the clouds all going, which is great. I have got some revision to get done this morning and then this afternoon I need to go out and do my like weekly food shop. I don't think I need to buy too much, I'll say that I'll end up buying loads, just watch me do that, I always do that. Even if I only have a few items I need to get, I just end up buying extra. I just never manage to stick to what I just need to get. I always end up buying extra things. I just get too excited when I'm in a supermarket and I see the other products as well. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get some of that too. But that is literally my plan for today. And it's supposed to be like really nice weather, I think, this afternoon as well. So it'll be nice to get out into Brighton for a bit, especially after being stuck in all morning doing revision, which won't be fun. But I'm hoping to get done with my revision by like lunchtime so then I can have lunch here and then head out and spend a bit of time in Brighton and do my food shop which hopefully should be really nice but for now I need to get out of my sweaty stuff and actually have a shower. This is kind of random but um, just for reference, just because I straighten my hair all the time a lot of people think that I have naturally straight hair which honestly would be so much easier but my natural hair is actually quite curly and frizzy. I've just let it dry naturally after washing it this morning. Um, while I've been revising and this is what my hair is naturally like just thought I would show you because I do actually straighten it all the time so I know it's not great for my hair but I mean it doesn't look too bad right now although the front bits are a lot straighter than the rest of it which is always kind of weird and underneath it's like super curly and like this I can't really brush it that's the only thing because even though it kind of looks not not too crazy right now when I brush it it literally just like goes full out so I can't really brush it like this which wouldn't be great either because it'd get really like knotted and matted and I'd probably end up with like dreadlocks or something <laughs> so yeah but I just thought I would I'd show you because most people even people sometimes who know me like fairly well just because they always see me with straight hair assume that that is just like my natural hair type. I'm officially about to start I think what is my third pot of almond butter since being at uni and this is like one of the massive one kilo ones so you can just imagine how many of like the standard like small size ones that would be that's pecan butter pecan butter is so good if you haven't tried it it's kind of expensive so it's just a treat every now and again for me but it is so worth the price honestly it's really tasty <laughs> and i've got my collection of all other nut butters here as well chocolate hazelnut chocolate orange uh what's that peanut butter and then if you haven't tried this the new limited edition from pippa nut the cherry baker one Honestly, it's incredible. You should still try it. You can tell I have a bit of a nut butter problem. Just got a collection of nut butters. But yeah, this one's pretty much empty now. And I've decided to try and make some chickpea cookie dough. I just kind of got the inspiration for making this last night. While in bed, that's normally like when my best inspiration comes. Not gonna lie. But I just sort of felt inspired to do that. So I'm gonna put in some chickpeas, some um, almond butter. You can use like any kind of nut butter really and then probably a bit of maple syrup for some sweetness and i don't know what else i'll see like how thick it is i might need to add a bit of water to help it blend um maybe a pinch of salt and then probably once i've blended it i might add in some cacao nibs maybe some pecan nuts actually that could be quite nice i would use pe uh, pecan butter therefore for this recipe but like i said it's quite expensive and i'll probably use about a quarter of a cup of almond butter i'm gonna say so that's like is that four tablespoons? Yeah, around four tablespoons of almond butter. So it would use up pretty much all my pecan butter. And that one's nearly run out actually as well. So I don't actually have that much of it left. But I'm gonna give this a go. I just always get these random ideas at night. And yes, I'm technically kind of intolerant to chickpeas. But then recently I tested that out with hummus, but then hummus, I'm also technically intolerant to sesame seeds. So I wanted to try out my intolerance when I wasn't feeling too bloated. 
and then I did kind of react badly to that but then I was sort of like mm, is it more the chickpeas or sesame seeds or both I don't really know and then I recently bought two cans of chickpeas thinking they were lentils because in Sainsbury's both the lentils and chickpeas are in green cans and they're right next to each other so I picked up two of the chickpeas instead of the lentils by mistake and so earlier this week I had the other can of chickpeas and it didn't really seem to affect me too much I got a bit bloated but I often get bloated I'm just prone to bloating with my IBS and everything anyway so like that's kind of expected and I often get bloated when I eat foods anyway but it wasn't anything like completely extreme or too full on so I was like mm, you know what maybe it's all right maybe it's just a delayed effect although it's been quite a few days now so it looks like it's not too bad of a reaction so it might be more of the sesame seeds in the hummus that I'm more susceptible to bloating from but the chickpeas I still had one can left of so I thought you know what I'm gonna try giving this chickpea cookie dough a go while I have the chickpeas and they might as well be used up anyway definitely the worst part of starting a new nut butter though especially one in a tub this size is stirring up when the oil separates because it takes forever if you don't want to splash the oil everywhere and yeah it literally it it does it's like an arm workout but it's so worth it I so like appreciate it in the long term because then at the end you don't end up with loads of dried nut butter at the bottom which has happened to me before and definitely spend the time stirring up the oil properly to begin with and I have finally pretty much I mean there's still a little bit stuck at the bottom but I've been stirring this for a good while now and it's definitely a lot more together than it was so I can actually get making my cookie dough now it's crazy how much this actually looks like cookie dough so in here I ended up using one can of drained chickpeas two tablespoons of maple syrup four tablespoons of almond butter and then I also added in a splash of vanilla extract and now I am gonna stir through some pecans and some cacao nibs this actually looks so good now that I've also added in the cacao nibs and pecan nuts I'm actually so excited for this I really hope it tastes as good as it looks time for all important taste test just get a little bit that is actually really nice and it's a vegetable like I'm eating cookie dough but it's one of my five a day this is actually like, amazing definitely recommend trying this I'm gonna have a bit of a list and I'm gonna eat the whole thing because that's a whole lot <laughs> to eat a massive can of chickpeas just now but I think with the rest of it I'm gonna put it in the fridge to chill and then once it's really like nice and cool as well I think it will taste even better but I am very impressed with that I'll definitely make this again if I don't react too badly to the chickpeas or if I accidentally buy chickpeas again this is definitely something that is worth doing with them and so worth the bloating if I do <laughs> end up reacting badly to them so I've just made it back in from town doing my food shop I just thought I'd give you a quick grocery haul before I put it all away so what I did pick up, I basically got majority of this in Sainsbury's I went to and then also these things over here I picked up from Infinity Foods which is like a health food store in Brighton and so from there I got these gosh Tuscan vegetable bites which honestly are super tasty. I'm going to pop these in the freezer and then on a weekly basis when I have like my roasts I will have a few of those with it as well. Um, and then I also got some more of the Nush Natural cream cheese and also got some of the chive one as well as a couple of pots of Koyo Natural Yogurt. I only get to one of these a week but they were in date for the next couple of weeks so I got supplies for the next two weeks as that will save me from having to go to Infinity Foods next week. So I've got my supplies in already. And then from Sainsbury's I picked up some strawberries, blueberries and then the other fruit I got, oh yeah there's some bananas over here and then I got a couple of packets of tofu again this will last for a while so I just got a couple of packs in to last me for a couple of weeks I usually use one a week and if I don't I think these are okay for up to another three weeks anyway so if I don't get it get through it in the next two weeks it'll be fine I also got a uh, half a cucumber because I've still got a bit left in the fridge I got a mixture of beans and tender stem broccoli it's always good doing a 50 50 mix where it's just one of you eating it so that it doesn't go off before you actually manage to get through it I also picked up some fresh basil I often get fresh coriander as well but I had some left in my fridge so I didn't bother with that this week I also picked up one color of each sweet pepper I always go with the sweet peppers so thought might as well get one of each color um, and then got some more baby spinach leaves some chopped and sliced kale I got an aubergine, oh this pepper's fallen over, I did decide to try to lay it out all nicely but it's not cooperating with me, um, but yeah I got an aubergine, a squash, I don't buy squash on a weekly basis but I haven't had one for a while so I thought I'd get one, 
some carrots. I have got one or two left in the fridge, but I get through them quite quickly. So I've got a few more. Oh, this also came from Infinity Foods, actually. These Sober King black rice noodles. Looks kind of funny because the noodles are black, but I really like them. And they literally cook within like five minutes, if that even, less than that probably. And then also from Infinity Foods, I picked up some more of the Livia's Millionaire Squares because I love these and I'd like currently run out. So thought might as well get a couple more of those. And then I also saw this by Rhythm108, who I've mentioned many times before. I love their chocolate bars and biscuits as well. And they've recently released these, which are their all day snack bars. And they had a couple of the flavors in Infinity Foods. So I thought I'd get this one, the hazelnut cookie dough one to try, which does sound pretty tasty. So. I will be trying that at some point and hopefully that will be as good as it sounds and then the final thing that i got in sainsbury's actually is some more nut butters i know i sound a bit crazy because i showed you all of them earlier but i did treat myself to a bit more pecan butter because like i mentioned earlier it is running out and then my peanut butter as well is currently running out i used some in lunch in a stir fry so I noticed that was getting low so I picked up more of that and then while I was in there I also picked up some more of the limited edition cherry bakelite almond butter because mine's also getting low so yeah that is my food shop for the week I did have a couple of other veggie bits like I think I've got some courgette and a couple of other things left in the fridge but besides that this is kind of like what I buy pretty much on a weekly basis I just buy loads of fresh fruit and veg and I basically use it up within the week and of course it needs using up really within a week anyway and then I'll sometimes buy extra staple things like tinned things or dried things like pasta rice or like this case I bought the noodles this week just depending on how supplies go but those things are the things that last for like quite a few weeks so I don't always buy them on a weekly basis 